Hello, everyone. This is LS23L Summer Session A. Welcome. Um, uh, this is being recorded. Uh, I'm just going to start. Uh, let me see. I'm going to start sharing my screen. Oh, there's some students. Hello. Okay, so I'm gonna start my PowerPoint. But something isn't right. All right. Or not. Okay, there we go. Is that that, that looks great. And lots of hellos in the chat. And students, if you want to use the chat, if you have questions or anything, we'll raise them for Dr. Flugel and we'll also answer whatever we can in the chat. All right. Hello, everybody. Uh, this is my system is very slow for some reason. I don't know why, but uh, hello there. Uh, welcome to LS23L. Um, so I'm here with Brittany and Rachel, uh, our teaching team. And so I probably won't have time to really answer questions directly. So we'll just put them in the chat and we will uh, post a Q&A um, on CCLE after the lecture. As this lecture is also being recorded, I will post it later today. Uh, and there's going to be a lot of information. So hang on. It's it, This is already a very intense class during the regular quarter, but in summer it's twice as fast and you signed up. So get ready for a ride. It's three units, so the 18 hours per week are real. They're not just, well, you really have to put in 18 hours just as a warning. And this lectures I'm giving is not much of content, like material. It's more how to get you on board and get you started uh, because the first writing assignment is already due on Sunday. So we, we start running right away and um, Usually students will get it in week two or three, but some are so fast that, uh, so I give you some information on how to structure the course to, so you can succeed. In section, you also have the choice to have your video on and your audio, uh, like some of you I see with your video on, it's nice to see you, but some people are not comfortable with that. So they just maybe wanna talk and not be on video, but we allow that. And then also some will might use just the chat functions. And you'll have a, a possibility to put in groups, which are just chatting or just video or just audio. Um, all right, so this is what I'm going to try to cover in 50 minutes. I might go a little bit over, I don't know, I'll try my best. So that's why I'm gonna keep running. Um, so I'm gonna introduce the teaching team uh, talk a little about the Zoom and group work um, and give you a couple of resources in, in case it gets hard or if you're in a tough situation. Um, give you an uh, introduction to the course uh, for students who are not here from UCLA. We use my great Gradebook. So to familiarize yourself with that, we also lose, use Labster, which is a, a virtual lab because this is a laboratory and with online. So this is the closest we can do to give you a lab experience. Uh, this has a great uh, 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 larger writing components. One unit comes from writing, which is six hours per week is writing. And we do use these six hours so you can submit your paper and uh, it's a peer review system. So I'm gonna go introduce that. Uh, for, the learn, uh, uh, for the discussion board, we use Campus Wire. Uh, so I'm going to introduce that, how to sign up for that. And then learning management system, we use uh, CCLE, which is Moodle, um, if you're not from UCLA. Um, I'm going to go off the deadlines, which are critical, because it's so fast. And if you miss a deadline, you're going to lose points. So make sure that um, I try to streamline that. And then I'm going to introduce the first lab, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and the second lab, which is on Thursday, Friday. <clears throat> and a little bit about group work, which will be starting, you'll be starting next week uh, in lab. Okay, here's an intro to, so that's me and my email. 
and then Rachel is here. Uh, she's a lab administrator, but she's also taking on the writing coordinator position for, for summer. So if you have any question about the writing, uh, there's a special email down here ls23llpr at gmail.com. So any writing question, just uh, send that to this email. And then if you have technical issues with Labster or uh, practicing peer review, which I'm in introduced, or with the pre-quizzes, post-quizzes, uh, you can email Brittany um, and Rachel. Um, and then also if you just have content question, um, if you send them to me, I'm gonna just push them on campus wires and that's what we're gonna be using. So let's all use campus wires so everybody's uh, privy to the same information. These are your TAs and they're listed on CCLE on the learning management system. We have four TAs and this will be one of your sections. So keep in mind one, one uh, just maybe look, check right now because that information you need uh, in a little later when it comes to the deadline, you need your section. So make sure you know your section. Uh, we also have learning assistance you might be familiar with. That's a great program. And so if you want to come back and be in LA for this course, there uh, is a link here. Uh, you can sign up for fall once you have taken this course. Um, so that's the, the website for that. So we are online since last year spring, basically. Uh, we have a lot of uh, experience. Meanwhile, you probably already have all been on, on Zoom at this point, are familiar with it. But um, we are doing group work when you meet in section for one and a half hour, you're gonna be put into a group with your TA. And all, we, all quarter or all session, you will be working with these people. And that can be challenging and difficult. So I put some resources out here maybe you're introvert or extrovert, but um, like in real life, at some point you have to make it work. So do your best to really work and put your effort in. Um, and it is easier to do the worksheets in group with your group than doing asynchronously. You can do them asynchronously, meaning you can just work alone from home on the, but then on the assignments, uh, but then it's gonna be harder. It's much easier to do this in groups. And then if things are difficult due to COVID or other, there's a couple of resources here. Um, these links are actually active when you look at the PDF. Uh, so you have some resources. Uh, here's another one. Um, if you need food, the UCLA puts out this. And if you need access to internet, um, there's, uh, we got this, this link. All right. So um, this course is usually a lab course, but um, the, one of the learning goals is at the end, you will be able to read and write uh, scientific literature. And to do that, uh, the best way to learn is a peer review system where you have to actually read other people's uh, texts and evaluate them. And by evaluating them with a rubric, you actually learn way better to, to write yourself. Uh, because you see different examples, how to express things differently. And there's uh, many ways to do, you know, the same task. And uh, to do that uh, in LS23L, we have three labs, which have a database, um, which are created by students in LS23L. Uh, and you get access to the database. You also learn how the database was created. And then based on the database, you formulate a hypothesis and you're gonna learn that this week, how to formulate a hypothesis. And then you test that hypothesis and you also learn about that this week. And then you, you have a conclusion. And then based on the experiment you just did, you are gonna write a paper. You wanna tell uh, your peers, you know, how, how you did the experiment, what information do they need to understand what you did and, um, and then we introduce the peer review process. Basically, you're gonna submit your paper to your peers who are all privy to the same information. And, um, and then also you evaluate, you receive papers from your peers. And um, to facilitate this, we use Campus Wire. 
uh, and it's like just in real science where you go to conferences and you have weekly group meetings and research groups you all share the same information and you look at that work you submitting based on that information and that might be different than last quarter or two quarters or last year so it's really what is happening now because a paper which was written 10 years ago would might not be acceptable nowadays because there's different information and if everything goes well it gets published so we're trying to mimic that process in this course and you'll do it three times and we're using campus wire so that's very important that you're a, a participating on campus wire then over the whole course of the session you're gonna have nine pre-lab quizzes labster 11 modules 10 worksheets non post nine post lab quiz and then uh, i'm only gonna be lecturing three times in person and there's gonna be two more for the next two weeks actually where there's holidays where i'll still post a video uh, to, uh, to guide you to do what to do the next week uh, there's a plagiarism tutorial that's really important um, and I'll talk more about that next week and then you're going to submit three scientific reports uh, just to point out right here if, if you submit a bad draft it's better to submit a bad draft than a plagiarized a paper from somebody else because we will catch you and you will be reported to the dean so just write your own in your own word, what you did, what the experiment is, rather than you know, look at somebody else's paper. Um, all right, so we are using CCLEs. That's what's going to be looking at CCLEs. There's announcements, the syllabus, the sections I just showed you, and then this is going to be Campus Wires discussion forum, and there's a link to the lecture. Usually, I forgot to do that today, I think. And then there's a small overview how the course works. There's these tabs you can look at and a little welcome video. And um, you're also going to work in group and prepare seven group slides. Uh, yeah. so, and then one video project at the end of the quarter. So welcome. And here's a warning. There's going to be a lot of information uh, as I'm going to run through this. Um, type your questions into the chat. And um, even if you can't keep up, we will post the Q&A at the end. All right, so this is what the summer session looks like. So it's going to six weeks, uh, going to be 10 labs. So there's two, two labs per week. Here is where I, it's a holiday. We have this new holiday. Uh, and then the 4th of July. And I'm going to post videos there. So they're not live, but it's similar. It's like 50 minutes where I go over these two labs and these two labs. Otherwise, you, uh, you know, I can't cover all that in this lecture. Um, there's going to be three reports, report one, two, and three, and they're connected to a scientific method, metabolism in goldfish and human physiology. So um, that's where, where you get introduced to the lab topic of the uh, report and the deadline for submission of the text is Sunday. But then I have a couple of more slides for that. Then there is uh, the video topic introduction is sequencing. So that's in week three. And then you have basically a couple, 10 days or so deadline is here to submit a video, which you're all going to be watching in the last lab. And then we have a whole week for the final, and it's a two-stage final. The first stage is on Tuesday, 9 to 5, and then there's a break. And then we, we open that your responses, and then you can um, meet with your group and discuss your responses, uh, and then retake the final uh, on Friday. If you just want to do stage one and you want to go on vacation, you can just do that and I double your score. So if you don't want to be, but you can improve your first score by uh, going through these stages. Um, all right. So then what, what does it look like? So Monday lectures, that's where we are right now. And then you need to start working, uh, preparing for your section. Usually the due dates are due before your section starts. So there's a lab manual, the videos, the labster. So these are cup, these are like three, four hours of work before you go to section. So don't wait, wait till the last minute because then you're not able to finish these. Um, and then the same for then the Thursday lab, you wanna make sure it's twice, right? You do this pre-homework. And then uh, there's post, a post lab quiz you need to be doing after you have done the lab. 
And then also you can work with your group on preparing for the, the slides. Uh, then there's also writing and that's six hours per week. So that's a, a, a substantial commitment and I can break it down a little bit. So there's gonna be two, two labs. Um, and the next slide just shows basically, so you have a pre-lab, you have a, a lab manual reading uh, there can be five pages, can be 20 pages, depending on the lab, can be quite substantial, and you should be reading this before coming to lab. There's a lab start to prepare you further, and several videos, and I'll point out the videos for this week. And then you have a pre-lab quiz before coming to lab, ideally. Uh, then you're going into the lab section, there's usually a couple of breakout rooms you're going to be doing. Uh, and I'm gonna go into detail uh, on that. And then the post lab quiz, right? But then uh, along with that goes the writing assignment, um, <clears throat> uh, which I'm gonna break down for you what's, what's going on with that. So the workload, so it is 18 hours per week, but so it's, it's nine hours twice a week. You have two hours of labster. So you need to do this before section. So you're all, when you go into section, you don't look like, you're not prepared, right, with, your, with the other students. But then if you wait to the last minutes, you might not get through Labster. Also, you need to get used to Labster. So give yourself a time to get used to. Once you know how it works, the other one's going to be a little easier. So the first one might take you longer. Uh, writing, six hours per week. Um, and then uh, lecture, that's one hour you're watching right now. And the office hours. Uh, and then in section, you have one and a half hours each, and then a half an hour office hours afterwards. Now, this remote work, it's the reading, the lab manual, the pre and post quizzes. There's other videos that these are the content videos where I provide information about the lab and the group work. So I make sure you leave enough time if you're working to organize yourself that you have enough time to do all that. Uh, and then the grading, uh, one unit comes from writing. So 30% of your grade comes from the writing module, 31% uh, from the lab activities, and then 35% is the final and the pre and post. There's 2% uh, participation. And again, the final grade is 50% uh, stage one and stage two. But if you do only stage one, I will double up your score. The writing is scaffolded. So uh, for your first uh, reports at the end of this week, Sunday, it's due then. You write an introduction material methods. Um, that's part of how to write a scientific uh, uh, paper. Um, and the second part, you do the result and discussion. That's your second paper. And the third paper is a full paper, which has intro, M&M, &M, and results and discussion. And if you're not familiar, there's a uh, resource videos listed on the CCLA tab to learn about these things and what goes in there. So that's all listed in CCLE, but basically that's the scope. You do a small paper here, a small paper here, and then you put together what you learned into your caps, final capstone paper. It's worth 80 points. Um, there is optional reflection you can do. So that's why I'm saying it doesn't have to be a perfect paper. You get feedback from your peer. And then you look at that feedback and you reflect on it and you get points back. And usually people get full points on, on this assignment. How is it graded? It's uh, LS2 to LS graded on a, a straight scale um, and it's not curved. Um, then the worksheets and the group slides you're submitting are to your TA. So if the grade's missing, so email your TA first so they, they can uh, put the grades in. If you have problems with pre-lab quiz, post-lab quiz, labster, uh, email our team. And then for anything writing related, you under the LS23L uh, email, you can email Rachel. Um, so if you email me, I'm just gonna redirect to these people. So it would be easier if you email directly um, to the people who can answer your questions. There's uh, participation points. Um, so there's a plagiarism exercise, which becomes important once you submit your text and I find plagiarism. Uh, also, if you don't find plagiarism, uh, it's four points. Uh, please work on that. Uh, I'm putting a lot of effort in that to avoid plagiarism in this course. Um, there's gonna be evaluations at the end of the quarter and I'll come back to that uh, when we get closer to the end of quarter. All grades are on my sealed gradebook. 
Um, and uh, everything is listed there already, but not visible. So there's a, about 30, 63 items which will be filled in. So uh, please make sure to go on there, you know, periodically and see whether everything is listed. Nothing will be there on for the first week, and then I will slowly populate. But uh, check periodically on there that you have your scores in. And if not, email us and we'll look what happened. Labster. So we're using Labster Works Lab because this is a laboratory and this is the closest we could have done the last year to give you a simulation of a lab environment. And also it's very sensitive to making errors. So if you take the wrong flask or you take the wrong plate, it's not going to go on just like in real lab. And it's simulating that. So you understand that there's an order to how are things done in the lab. Um, however, make sure that it's working for you. There's certain requirements with your computer. So just start right away on the first lab, which is experimental design and get used to it. And then let us know if you have problems so we can troubleshoot with you um, and with Labster. And then uh, ideally Labster should be done before section. There's an exception for the first week, but you know, if you get it done before your section, please do so. All right, so uh, writing. So the peer review process, which I uh, um, um, pointed out earlier. So basically you have a lab Tuesday, Wednesday, and the practicing peer review, that's where you get familiarized with the rubric, the rubric you use to write the, to your paper or the rubric to use to evaluate or you know, judge the other students' papers. It's already open and it's a practice. And I have another slide for that. And that's open till Sunday, 5 p.m. But you want to do that before you write your text because that's where you get an, a sense of what is asked of you to write. Then you actually get introduced to the lab uh, and you get some more information about hypothesis text and how to formulate a, a hypothesis. And then you have to watch a couple of lectures on the database itself and the experiment. And then you have a couple of days to actually write your paper and submit it, right? And then once it's submitted, uh, we need to distribute it. So we need some time before we then open on Tuesday. Um, and then you can evaluate your peers. That's next week. And that's a hard deadline. If you miss that, you lose all the points. Uh, this one is a soft deadline. We can still accept late with a penalty on Monday, your text. But this is a hard deadline. And then there's the optional reflections. Uh, which open on Saturdays. They are over the weekend and they close on Monday next week. So then here's basically, here's you. You, you write your text, you submit to uh, the editor, which is Rachel in this case, and then she sends it out for review uh, to the peers. And that's what would we just have been real research. Um, and then there's reviewer, so that you're doing the assessment. And then there's a firm deadline. And then we're going to look at that uh, shortly and then um, release. <clears throat> uh, and then you have time to reflect on the feedback. And that's usually also what happens in science. You submit your paper for publishing, and then you get a feedback from other researchers back. And then you do your, your revisions or changes. And, uh, and then you know it gets submitted to the publisher again, and eventually it gets uh, published in a journal. So here's that on the calendar, here's the link to the practice in peer review one, uh, it's five points. It's composed of an example one, and then you reflect on that uh, with a rubric, you learn with a rubric, how to evaluate that, and then you do another example. And if you do it properly, you get five points for that. It's open right now, and you can, basically you should start on it right away. Uh, and then you can think here about your paper after you have done the lab, what you would write. Um, it doesn't do you any good if you wait till the end to do this after you have done the paper. So make sure you do it early. Uh, and then uh, you will also find the practice and peer review under the scientific writing tab on CCLE under the before writing. That's where the assignment lives. We do that three times. So that gives you an overview. So week one and two is report one. And then in week three, we already start the next report. And then in week five, we start the next report. And then it's the same pattern. Um, and so basically, what you're looking at, you need to know what the lab is about, what the database is about. So you want to read the lab manual. 
And then you want, want to watch the video, which is also showing you how the data was collected, what the database uh, uh, consists of, and there's a demographic uh, attached to it. So you can formulate your hypothesis. Uh, then you can do the practicing peer reviews. You see examples of how it's done and you have to about, and they're not ex perfect examples, right? So they might be flawed. So you have to figure out what is missing uh, with the information provided. Then you, uh, there's a, a lecture usually on how to operate the database. Then you can look at the data, what is available to formulate your own hypothesis. Then you run the, the experiment. And then based on all that, you start writing your report and then assess and reflect. So that's, that's you're basically you're doing real research because it is real data. It's not fake data. And you also learn how the data was collected and how to explain to somebody else on the same level as you, how it's done, how, how the data was collected and, and, and then run an experiment and have an outcome and explain why you reject or fail to reject a hypothesis. <clears throat> all right, to do that, we have Campus Wire. So you all need to be on Campus Wire to discuss if you have a question about the writing, about the experiment, about the database. Um, so you're all on the same page. So you can't just go later and say, well, that person didn't include this. Well, if it wasn't discussed, right, then, or you didn't include it, but it was discussed. Uh, so don't come to me, is this right or wrong, right? So discussion is happening on campus wire. Your TA can't really tell, it's a communication between you. We give you rough guidelines with the rubric and what we expect, but the rest is up to uh, the community, the scientific community on campus wire, which is all the students of LS23L. And we monitor it and we'll maybe, you know, steer the ship a little bit. So you're on the right track. So make sure to go on campus wire, there's a link um, to join and then a link to how, how access it. So make sure you um, um, get on board with campus wire. All right, <clears throat> the LMS we're using is Moodle, uh, CCLE. Uh, it's gonna be looking like that. So that's the info page with all the tabs. And these are all the 10 labs we're gonna be doing. Most of them you, they're hidden right now because um, you know we open them week by week, uh, but the first four are open, and that's what all we're going to do um, uh, throughout the quarter. There's a sign for the writing. There's a special tab here after the week one or like lab one. After lab five, there's a uh, the second one, and after lab nine, there's the third one here, and that's where the assignments are for the writing writing part. This is what the first lab looks like. So, and it always has that structure. So there's an introduction, you know, what, what are you gonna be learning in this lab? There's the deadlines and I'm gonna come back to the deadlines. Labster is here. So that's what you wanna do all before. And then before lab, there's the lab manual is listed here and all the videos need to watch before you go into your section. So you're gonna work from this left to right and then here are going to be the lab, lab activities for asynchronous students who are not going to go to section. There's a writing section here. And then uh, for the first lab, you also have now here listed the database. That's the database you're going to be working on your writing. And then the post lab is here. So the second lab is a little shorter because the second lab is not involved in the writing. So basically the weeks without the writing, it just looks like this. And then here's just a reminder to, to finish up the writing, but this is not connected to lab two. Uh, again, deadlines, lab the before lab, the lab activities, post lab, and then here's what the lab is about. And this is for the Thursday, Friday lab. And I'm gonna come back to that, deadlines. So this is from the syllabus. So um, in, one of the assignments for this week is to read the syllabus. Uh, because there's going to be a syllabus activity in section to familiarize with the course. So if you are running, say, if you're getting sick or if some you don't have internet, the internet goes out, we need to know, you know, use your phone or something. You need to know then, not like a week later, that you missed an assignment because something happened the week before. If you let us know in 
in advance, we can make maybe accommodation or get you back on board or can help you out. Um, otherwise, we're not gonna accept any uh, excuses once you miss the deadline. Uh, however, I have a built-in process. I dropped the lowest scores on certain activities. Uh, and these are listed here. So for the pre-labs, the labsters, the worksheets, the group slides and the post slides, I will drop the lowest score at the end of quarter. So everybody gets a freebie. We are all sometimes, you know, not on par, but uh, you only can miss one. Uh, if you miss one, it doesn't make a difference to your grade at the end. It will not unpack your grade, so you get a freebie. But, you know, also then I would ask you, please do all assignments, even if you have one left over at the end. You know, sometimes students don't do the last one, the good students, but um, it will be helpful if you do all the work. Um, the practicing peer reviews are three, right? It's only 3%. There's no makeup for that. And again, you have to do it before you're writing your, your, your own text. Uh, so it, if you miss it and then submit your text and then want to make this up, doesn't even make sense. So then, um, let's see. Uh, there's a lab report. There's a, we can take it one or two days late, but then there's a late penalty. The peer reviews, if you miss them, it's done. Optional reflection, if you miss them, you know, they're optional, it's done. And then there's a group project and the final. So um, so there's some leeway, but try to be on target with, with the deadlines. Now, this is also in the syllabus. Uh, so basically, I'm trying to simplify what is due. There's a Friday deadline. I mean, it opens. These are the opening dates. So for Labster, it opens the Friday before. Pre-lab quizzes Friday before. The group slides are open. And then uh, the worksheets are already open today, right? So then the close date is usually before your section start time for these. Uh, the worksheets, the asynchronous worksheets are due Sunday at 5 p.m. Uh, if you are going to sections, you'll just do these in section. And then there's several deadlines for the writing, uh, for the practice and peer review. You should be uh, at Sunday, 5 p.m. The text is sun Sunday, 5 p.m. Uh, the assessment Friday and the reflection Monday. And, I would not, and then there's some disclaimers down here. Now to break this down, basically uh, to simplify it. So look for your section. So I ask you, you know, what section you're in. So say you're in section 1E. So you're meeting Wednesday from 11 to 12.30. So your deadline is for lab one is before 11 a.m. on Wednesday. So you have all day Tuesday to do all the assignments, right? But however, if you're in section 1B, then you know you have to make sure you do everything today, right after lecture, so you get everything done before the deadline. And the deadline is the, the pre-lab quiz, the labster, uh, and uh, for, for this week, right? And then uh, the uh, practice and peer review, if you, if you can get to it before the writing. Now, uh, the other deadline is the practice and peer review, which you want to do before your submission of the text. So that's Sunday, 5 p.m. The asynchronous worksheet, if you didn't make it to section, you can do the asynchronous worksheet and submit by fri uh, Sunday, 5 p.m. Uh, next week, the assessments are the due date is Friday, 5 p.m. So make sure to not miss that. And then the, the optional reflection on Monday, 5 p.m. So that's all the deadlines you need to remember. Your specific deadline for your section and these, you have to just be on to not miss these. But for some of them, just if you remember at four, like an hour before that deadline, you don't have enough time to really finish all this, right? So make sure even, uh, especially for this deadline, that you leave yourself enough time to complete it. Um, one easy way is um, to just go to the deadline tab on CCLE, and then it has these links. So you go to the deadline tab, and as you click through the links, everything is listed here, and you just work through it. Uh, uh, rather than remembering, just go to the deadline tab and click on these links. They will get you to these tabs to uh, finish all the assignment. And then look, there's a lot of videos to watch here. Um, and then uh, uh, the asynchronous worksheet is listed here and the deadline. So um, that's the easiest way to structure it. Just go on the deadline tab on CCP. 
All right, so now I'm going quickly over what I have 15 minutes left. Um, what we're going to do. So tomorrow and Wednesday, um, we're going to go over the syllabus and then also learn how to formulate a hypothesis. It should be specific and testable, and you're going to learn about that. So uh, you go with the syllabus, the hypothesis, and then uh, at home, remember, you have to prepare for your next lab, practicing peer review activity, uh, the first text is due on Sunday, and finish the experimental design labster. So here's a section. So there's a video, which is 44 minutes. So these are the content. So this is, you know, now, I, now today I'm not going to talk about any of the content, but here it talks about the scientific method, the hypothesis testing, the specific experiment, the database, and scientific writing. That video is 44 minutes. You, as there's a transcript, you can read the transcript, but that gives you all the information for the memory interference test, which is the MIT. The labster is going the experimental method to introduce you how science is done, how experiments are done. Um, and then you complete the pre-lab quiz is based on the lab manual and the syllabus. Uh, here's the syllabus and here's the lab manual. It's 16 pages. The, the lab manual is nine pages. This, so this is all what you have to do before going to section, right? However, for week when, because we now we just start running first day, all these deadlines are extended to uh, Sunday, 5 p.m. in case you're running late. But next week, that's you have to have done that before your section starts. So here's the labster. It introduces experimental design. Again, the the um, the deadline is Sunday, 5 p.m., but will be before your section starting next week. So then once you, once you go to your section, there's going to be two breakout rooms. One is uh, going over the syllabus, so that's why you have to read the syllabus. If you don't read the syllabus and you go to your, be in with your group, you don't even know what's going on, right? So you don't want to be a slouch and, and be a parasite in your group. You want to be prepared. So that's why you want to read the syllabus here. Uh, then you report out as a group, you learn how to work in groups together and how you want to work in groups with a video or with a chat or with audio only. And then you're going to you start to work on the hypothesis so related to your writing, you know, how to formulate a hypothesis. And then you evaluate these different hypotheses in the different rooms and report out and discuss them in section. And that will learn, keep you learning how to uh, formulate your own hypothesis, which you need for your paper. And then there's going to be an attendance survey because maybe you're still switching sections and we need to keep track of data. So uh, it's only in the first weeks that we're going to be doing this. <clears throat> so then, uh, so basically what you're going over is a hypothesis. What's a good hypothesis? Is it specific and testable? So that's what you're going to be looking at. And this lecture goes over that. So the information to answer these questions is in this lecture, which is 44 minutes. So then this is related to your first paper, right? So you have a database. Uh, you need to formulate a testable and specific hypothesis based on this database on and how is the data measured. So that's in this video. Then what research has been done is this is by Dr. Lopez with my husband who invented the CMIT or the memory interference test. And so this lecture will go, so after your uh, section, you can watch this lecture to go really deep into how is this test used um, in science and what research has been done on this. And then uh, again, this goes over how to formulate a hypothesis. And this is called data mining. So existing data, you look at existing data to get at new data. So what it's introduced here is then what's the p-value? You need to p-value to evaluate your hypothesis. So uh, it introduces a statistical test. So this is all in the lecture and uh, how to basically then argue whether you accept or reject a null. Uh, the student t-test is introduced here. Um, and uh, one tail versus two tail testing. So that's all information in that lecture. So make sure to watch it. And then the MIT, the memory interference is, is again introduced in this lecture. So, and this will be really help you to write your own paper and to actually know 
what data you're working on and um, and what the context is, right? So think about the demographic question. So to know that you need to know the database and how the data was connected, right? And then it's about memory. So that's introduced in Dr. Lopez's lecture, right? So how is this related to memory? Um, and then you need to do a literature search. That's also something you're gonna be learning how to look for data uh, and papers. And you need to cite one of the papers as your background. Uh, and then you need to formulate and uh, alternate a null hypothesis and a testable and specific, that's going to be learned in the section, um, how to write in introduction sections as some resources on CCLE, um, and how to write the material method section. There's also some resources. If you've never heard of this, uh, a beginner intro to what these are. And then, so this is your assignment due on Sunday at 5 p.m., uh, about 450 to 950 words. Um, we are at office hours uh, all week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, from 10.30 to 11.30. That overlaps with some of the sections. So uh, just come and we'll answer any questions. Rachel, Brittany, and I will be there. And again, if you have more questions, you can um, email Rachel at this email for the writing. All right, so then... Okay, I have nine minutes left. So now I'm going over the second lab, for, which is not related to the writing, which is going into uh, Thursday, Friday. So every week we're going to ask you a question. So for Thursday, Friday, it's going to be if you could have any pet in the world, what would you have? We try to humanize the section a little bit to get to know each other. And so this is my little slide. So I have this is me and my sister, and we had a pet monkey. Uh, from Africa in the 60s. It's illegal now, but uh, I love my it's Susie. Her name is Susie. Uh, so that's my little story um, to, um, you know, so you know a little bit about me. Um, so then um, with this lab, we're going to introduce epidemiology. And uh, also the video project at the end is about SARS-CoV-2. And so this is where we're going to use, uh, introduce SARS-CoV-2. Uh, there's a disease transmission breakout room activity and the pipetting we introduce a very valuable tool in micro, uh, molecular mi microbiology, the micro pipetter. Um, so that's where the lab component comes in. Um, but then uh, another reminder is that the writing is due, right? So um, this lab, um, so it's labster, it's pipetting. So that's where you uh, learn the pipetter as good as we can to introduce you to the pipetter. The lab manual is 12 pages um, about epidemiology. That's where I introduce SARS-CoV-2, some background and disease uh, transmission. And then um, there's a couple of videos and it's about like 70 minutes worth of material. So it's epidemiology back background, contact tracing, COVID transmission, all hot topics as you will know. And then there's a longer video by Rachel where she shows you how to use PubMed and that's how to access data online to get paper for your writing, how to find a good paper and how to search for them if you're not familiar with that process. It's a very good lecture. Um, so again, uh, so here's a, you know, Labster takes 55 minutes, but if you are start, just starting out, you're not, it might take you more than, this is an average we observe with all of our students. Some students take longer if you run into problems. Uh, so, you can't just rush through it, otherwise you don't get full points. So leave yourself enough time to do that. Um, in section, so you're gonna do a pipetter where you look at uh, how to read the pipetter window. So again, if you don't come with Labster and you have no ideas what you're looking at, you didn't read the lab manual, you won't even know what this is, right? So uh, basically the worksheets, they're already starting asking questions with assuming you have the background to answer these, right? And the, you need to basically do all the pre-lab becoming. The same is true for these, the, the disease transmission activity, make sure to watch the lectures uh, before coming um, to class. So here's the video. So there's a pipetter video here, the, the labster um, and the lab manual where you get informed on pipetting. Uh, so it's the lab is 55 and this is three minutes where I go over certain tips and tricks. Uh, here, another nine minute video 
on what pipetting looks like in the laboratory. So that's the best we can do right now, rather than you actually pipetting, um, how to load a sample and so on. So that's the first uh, breakout room. So make sure you're prepared for that. And then when you look at this, this is already an hour, right? Just for the first breakout room. And then the second breakout room, there's another eight pages uh, in the lab manual. There's a, a short video here, so that's nine, 18, and, and the longer meeting video here on how to use PubMed. So that's another hour, right, for the second breakout room. So um, prepare to, to, this you could watch later just before you maybe um, uh, write your paper. So you know how to access uh, papers for your paper. All right, well, I'm good in time. Sorry, I'm rushing so fast, uh, but I, I made it, yay. Um, so I'm almost at my last slide. So um, you can always watch the video, you know, at like half a speed or something uh, or go back, right? And we also, there should be a transcript if you want to search for that. So group work. So um, when you go into your groups in your section, um, you want to work together, right? And it is difficult. And I gave you some resources at the beginning. Some people might be unruly. I think we have, uh, you can always, I think there was a feedback at some point, but we, you can always email us if you have a problem with a person and we can look into it or email your TA to place you in a different group um, or just make it work. You know, when you go into the real world, at some point you don't have a choice. You have to make it work, you know, be, be agreeable or try to compensate for the person who are, was having a hard time for various reasons, right? So, um, so you have to work together in the group to uh, come up with a group slide. And there's starting next week, you're gonna submit that group slide uh, to your TA. And then also that gets you already familiar with your group every week, twice, right? Uh, and maybe you work, uh, meet outside of the section time to work on the group slide to then at the end, you have to have a eight minute video you have you put together as a group. So to get, get that going. Uh, alternative uh, is also asynchronous. You can do it alone. Again, it's much harder to do all this work alone. So for next week, your first slide, it's gonna be working with bacteria. That's the third lab next week. And in uh, the tab of uh, lab three, there's group work tab, that's a new tab. Uh, and it's for weeks two to five in all labs, you're gonna have that. And the question is when growing bacteria, bacterial colonies go through four distinct growth spaces, explain these different phases. So uh, there's half an hour after your section, you could already meet, uh, which is offices, office hours of your TA, where you're back in your group and you could just work on that, Google it, you know, try to figure out and put in uh, a slide together with your group or you meet you know, separate after the group that is a good practice to, you know, exchange your emails, get your contact information, so you can keep meeting uh, also to work, you know, on, on questions together. And that's one example, you know, you have a slide and here's how are your names, you put your names in here, and then you have some explanation, right? It doesn't need to be any more than that. And your TA will select one of your slides and show it to your group in week two and so on. You have to submit that slide individually, not as a group. So even though you're working on it as a group, uh, once you have it, you submit, you're responsible for your own score. So make sure uh, you don't let your group just work on it and submit it as a group. This is a individually submitted slide. All right, and then this is a reminder for week two and three, there's no live lecture. Um, However, I will be recording a lecture next Monday. I don't have it yet, but I, you know, because, sorry. yeah. I couldn't hear what you said. Oh, sorry. Uh, that was my watch. Uh, I will record fresh next Monday because there might be changes over the week. So, uh, and I will post that Monday afternoon, just not like now, it's just like, you're not gonna be there. So, uh, so I'll see you again in, three weeks, right? So this is gonna be, or you see me again live in three weeks. Hang in there, that's a lot, two weeks, that's a lot, lot of time. Here are some deadlines I can give you for this week. So it's, everything is due Sunday, 5 p.m., right? The asynchronous, the pre-lab quiz, the labster, the worksheets. 
but if you can do it before, do it. You know, it's it's better just waiting till Sunday, 5 p.m. Uh, there's a lot of material, a lot of hours. You know, if you start an hour before the deadline on Sunday and you have 18 hours of material, you're not gonna make it, right? Um, and then the dual dates for uh, uh, the post lab, uh, let's see. Do, oh, this is two before. So usually the the uh, the pre lab for lab three and four will open after you're done the post lab one and two. So there's no deadline on the post lab; they just open. But um, if you uh, get to next week and you can't access pre lab three and four, it's because you haven't finished post lab one and two, and there's no deadline for that. And I remember uh, the practice and peer review and the scientific the text submission on Sunday. And then here are the deadlines for next week. They change, so you have deadlines before section next week. So there's a post lab, the pre labs, the labs done group slides are all due before lab next week. If you miss it, you miss it. Um, there's a Friday assessment report due. If you miss it, you're done. That's half of the points. Uh, and then uh, on Sunday, the asynchronous worksheets are due. If you are not going to section, and that's my last slide. And one, one minute over. Sorry, I rushed, but I got through. Uh, good, my best to you for the next two weeks till I see you again. Uh, and hopefully you can ease in into 2.3L and get on board and we have a great quarter. And with that, I will finish my lecture. Uh, quick check with the team, anything pressing? Nothing pressing in the chat. I think you're good. And um, we've had some good questions in the chat and feel free to keep posting on Campus Wire and we'll we'll get back to you if there's other questions that come up while you guys are working. All right. Bye everybody. Oh, the recording will be posted by the end of the day usually. It just depends on how long